are you happier now with your attacking force? Are you beginning to fulfil your the attacking potential that you've that you've demonstrated? An example last week with Aguero using silver when he could have got a hat trick. It's more teamwork now. Well, I'm always happy with the with the idea because I think that our mentality is to be to always to be an attacking team. Maybe a lot of time you cannot score, but you create chances. And uh, if you create chances and score for a goal, as we did the last game, of course, I'm very happy. It's the way we want to play, and and it's the best is the best way I think that for this team to to win uh, to win title. So I hope that I will continue in the scoring goals. We are we have so far the, the team that scored more goals. But in some games, of course, we especially playing um, away that we, we couldn't score. So I hope that tomorrow we are going to return as we did uh, in the last game that we played against uh, away that was against Watford. Well, Sergio Aguero certainly knows where the net is. He, he's been saying now that he, he can manage his fitness a lot better. How important is his fitness in your push for the title? Well, I think that for every player it's very important to be fitness every week, to be able to play every game. Uh, maybe it's impossible to play all the games, but it's uh, very important not to stop working 15 or 20 days because it's not easy to recover their best their best fitness. So I hope that uh, Kuhn will be continue in the same way he he's doing the last game and without injuries, he's every game he's going to to have a better pace. Will your team selection take into account the fact that you've got a semi-final of the League Cup second leg on, on Wednesday? Will that impact upon how you pick your team on on Saturday? No, no, that will not impact. You are, we are all of us. We are just f focusing game by game. It doesn't matter in which competition we are. Now we must try to arrive as soon as we can at the top of the table. It's not easy, but we must try to. To, as I just said, to demonstrate why why we are fighting for the title. So all every the players, the managers, and everyone is thinking just about the game uh, against uh, West Ham. After that, on Monday we will start thinking about uh, the second leg of Everton that we must play here at home. Yaya Torre's agent said this week that um, he's open to every offer at the end of the season. How do you see his future at the moment? I think that for Yaya and for every player, I think the most important thing is to think in the present, to think in this moment, in the next game, and at the end of the season, you never know what will happen with anyone. So it's very important not to think what is your future. It's important to demonstrate why we are here in Manchester City, and the most important thing is to try to win title this season. After that, the future can be in a different ways. There are lots of rumours and speculation again at this time of the year, but, but today, there's a, a link again with, with Ross Barkley at, at Everton. Have you had any contact with the club? Will you be making any contact with, with Everton? I repeat the same answer for the same question. I don't talk about rumours because we can have a very long press conference every, every week about the different players that will arrive here to Manchester City. I said uh, and I repeat once again that we are happy with the squad. We are not thinking in bring any player or to sell in any other any other player. Is he a player you admire though and would strengthen your squad? I don't want to talk about individual names because after that the highlight always changes what I said. How is uh, Vincent Company? Is he are you any further down the line in solving the, the mystery of his, his calf problem? Well Vincent is uh, working and seeing different specialists and to try to know more about his injury. Uh, he will start uh, working, I hope, next week, but he has a couple of weeks more. Uh, and just finally from me, any other update on injuries ahead of the, the squad for tomorrow with Fernandinho or Mangala or Wilfred Boney? No, Fernandinho is fit. He worked with the squad the last uh, two days and continue injury in Mangala, uh, company, Boney, uh, Sami Nasri and Alex Colaro. All the other players are fit. So they're all out. The others are fit. Thank you. Thank you. Manuel, you've, you've not won back-to-back -back games in the league since October. Is inconsistency something that you want to try and improve on? I think it's the difference. It's on for all the teams because the difference between uh, the 
the, the teams called big teams and not so big, I think that every time that gap is reducing. Uh, so I, I think that this is a special season uh, that is very difficult to win. The games, that's why all the teams, not just our team, team has less points than the normal average of another season. So I think that it's important to understand in, that we must play what we are seeing now. And every game is a final, and every game will, will be the same difficult if you play from the team that's at the bottom of the table or at the top of the table. Because it's so close and you're only one point behind, do you feel that there's more pressure on the teams above you, or do you still feel that pressure in third? Well, I think that the pressure is part of the activity. You cannot be in a big team if you don't feel the pressure every week that you must win the title. I think that the chances to win uh, is exactly the same for the teams that have one point in front or one point below or, or five points be behind the leader. So it's important to try to demonstrate every, every game why you are involved in the title. I can just ask about Patrick Roberts. He's, uh, he's not had much game time at City. Would it be better for him if he went out on loan or you, are you think you can use him before the end of the season? Well, Patrick has been injured in the last uh, two or three weeks. Now we are going to, uh, we are going to talk about uh, his future. It was important for him to work the first part of the season here with our squad. We'll see what is the best future for him now in the second part. Uh, I know you've said that Kolarov is injured um, and Bone is injured, but what's the extent of their injuries? Are they long term? Are they serious injuries? Because particularly Bone is dragged on a little while now, hasn't it? Yes, Bonnie maybe has an injury that has been a little bit longer than we supposed at the beginning, but I hope that next uh, Monday he will start working with, uh, with the squad. Uh, Alex has a muscle injury in his calf, not very, very big, so I hope that also next at the, at the end of next week he will be working with normality. I know you say that you, you take each game as it comes, I understand that. But given that you've got the, the three games that are coming up, I'm just in, interested to know whether you sit down with the board and actually think, right, he can play in two of these three games or he can do this, that and the other. Or do you literally just take one game and then look and see who you're going to pick the next game? Do you, do you strategically plan it? No, I think that there's a lot of things that are very important when you choose to start the 11. First of all, I said last week that it was very important to refresh our team because we finished playing against Everton on Wednesday at 10 o'clock and uh, we start playing on Saturday at, uh, at 3 o'clock, so you don't have 72 hours to recover. So it's very important when you choose to start the 11 to know which players recover better than other one. But I am saying that we are not prioritizing one uh, champion for, for another one. For, for, for our team, it's exactly the same. That's why now we are focusing West Ham. We are going to play on Saturday. We have four days till Wednesday to, for the next game. So I think that all the players recover in the in the in a perfect way. You have also considered some tactical things, and of course the amount of players that you must play during January and February. So when you have to decide the season, it's important for the whole squad to be, and uh, not a, an average in the, uh, for all of the players exactly the same, but not just charge one start the 11 in January or in December, because it's very difficult that those players will arrive fresh to the end of the season. Which suggests to me that you do actually think then, you know, well, he's played so much game time, I can't play him in three full 90-minute appearances, that you do think more than one fixture ahead. No, the players can't play. They, they can't play three or four or six or eight games in a row. They cannot play 60 games during the season because normally he, they will be injured before. So that's important with the sports science and with the, the, the fitness, the coach fitness, to try to to know how in the way every, the different players recover in, in after after the game. So it's important uh, a lot of things, but I repeat, most important is to. You as a manager, be sure that the performance that the player that you will choose is in a good moment. I mean, when you look at the table, do you think there are five teams in the title race, realistically, the top five, or is it more than that? Because West Ham are sixth. But 
But at least, at least five. But uh, maybe the other team that's in the, uh, near their po that position, uh, if, as you just said, if they win six or seven games in a row, maybe they will be involved in the title also. So I think it's important to to understand that in football, if the mathematics they give you the chances to do it, you can be the champion. Uh, Manuel, Pablo Zabaleta said last week that he's planning to have talks about his future at the end of the season. Where, where do you sort of see his long-term future? Because obviously he's been a huge player for this club. Yes, I think that Pablo is, uh, has been a very important uh, player for, the, for this team. He continues being now a very important player and I'm sure that in the future he will continue here. Do you sort of see Sanya as your first choice now rather than Pablo? Well, Pablo had a very difficult season because he had to the same uh, injury in his ligament, in his right knee, in his right knee. So it was not easy for him to to recover his best uh, his best performance. But uh, he's starting playing some games. I think that he did it very well the other the other game uh, against Crystal Palace. That's one of the players that I trust a lot in him. Also, Bakari is having a very good season. So in that position, I don't have any problem. Manuel, you've got pretty much a full-strength midfield now. Is it the case for, for someone like Yaya that he's no longer an automatic choice in your first 11, in your strongest first 11? Well, Yaya, I think that we will, he will be always a very important player for our team. Uh, maybe as we are just talking about the amount of games that we have to play, so it was one of the reasons why he didn't start last last game. But uh, he always make a difference. We have also a, a very important other midfielders, like Fernando, Fernandinho, and Del. So uh, with the four of them, we cover that position in in a, in a good uh, in, a, in a good way. I think that four players that for me give me a lot of trust. So, but Yaya will continue being always a very important player. He has pretty unique talents, certainly match-winning talents. Do you feel that you've got other players now in midfield who can take on that burden? I repeat that uh, we don't have uh, 10 Yaya today because nobody has 10 Yaya today. So to replace him will be always very, very difficult. Maybe he receives a lot of criticize for some moments of the game or some balls during the game. But if you review his complete performance, physical and footballistic, uh, and footballistic I think that he always is a very important player for us. Uh, the latest Money League shows that City, I think, now the, the sixth richest club in the world uh, behind clubs like... Real and Barcelona. Is that a fair reflection of where City are, do you think, in general? Well, there are so many things that you must review that it's very difficult for me to answer your question because I think to be a big team is not only the amount of money. If you think, as you said, if the City is in this moment the sixth, in sixth place, but there's a lot of different things to review, so it's very difficult for me to answer. What would they have to do, do you think, to Exactly the same what they are doing in the last seven years, trying to improve and to grow in, a, in every department of the club, try to have strong squad, have a beautiful training ground, try to uh, to to have a, a, a big stadium, that's why we make another standing more, a lot of things, and after that, history and titles. Manuel, how much of a problem are the comments made by Torres agent this week for you personally? It can't be helpful. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it's an issue that really I don't want to, to try to answer to every agent and talk different different things. I know what Yaya thinks. I think that Yaya is mentally absolutely involved in this season. He's not thinking about his future. He wants to uh, to continue being the same important player that has been for this team the other year. So I don't think that it's, it's important to answer different opinions because we so many so many different ages of different players that can that, that, that can have their opinion. But I don't think that's important to answer. But this one particular agent was a was a problem last last summer as well. And what happened? Nothing. So his opinion last season and nothing more.
Manuel, the uh, chili job has now become available in the last few days. You, I think you've ruled yourself out, is that right? Or? Yes, yes, because uh, I'm, my mind is here now in, to finish this, uh, this season because for maybe it's a, it's a particular way of thinking, but I like to be involved every week in, in competition and not in the national squad that plays three or four times during the, during the year. So very proud because always when you are named, uh, sounds in an important uh, squad, and in a, especially in your national squad in your country, it's very important. But for this moment, I'm not available for that. Just on that moment, what, what, would that interest you at World Cup maybe? Because obviously you've managed it in Champions League and all the major leagues. But if, if the Chile position was available for a major tournament like the World Cup, would you be interested? Sorry? If, 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 if in talking about Chile, if, if there's a position available at the World Cup, maybe in 2018 or beyond, would you be interested in managing the World Cup? Uh, maybe in the future, you never know what can happen. Uh, I always said, I'm not in this moment, I said before, so it's not words that I am th saying now. It's always a thing for a, for, a, for a manager to manage their national squad. That's why, for maybe, as I answer during this week, that maybe between 2018 and 2022 can be an option. But uh, for the moment, I try to continue being involved as a just in competition every week. Okay, thanks, guys.